Um, hi guys, thanks for being here. It was really fun to get started. Um, I think we all always need exhibition games to get going. I certainly needed it to get my routine down and I yeah, wrote on my pants in the huddle and all that kind of stuff. But um, for the team, I think um, it was really fun. They've been working incredibly hard and it's just a different feeling to put on that jersey and play at home. Uh, I loved our defensive effort in the second half much better than the first half. Uh, I liked our ability to adjust, but you know we have a lot of things to get better at. But I, I just I feel good about who this team is and what we can become. And I think we saw some of that on display tonight. And my standards for them are really high. So there's a lot to also get get better at. I thought Westmont did a nice job of coming in here and knocking down shots in the first half. And we'll watch the film and obviously show them where we can get better. But it was a fun first start. Um, I thought it was really exciting to be back on in Haas with a new group. Um, all this whole summer, we've just had really good energy, so it's finally nice to put that on in a game. Um, so I think it's just exciting um, leading up to preseason and to uh, into Pac-12s. Um, yeah, I think like we've improved every scrimmage, and playing in front of our fans is always great and always fun. So I think that. We just brought a lot of energy tonight, and we, of course, could get better, but we're ready for Houston, and I'm just glad that we got this team win. Coach, you experimented with a bunch of different lineups. How important is it to kind of have exhibition games to be able to do a little bit of that? Yeah, it's, it's really important. I mean, I, I think we're going to be a team that um, – we can play different lineups based on how, how we look and what the other team brings. Um, and this is a good chance to do that. I also think, you know, sort of natural rotations will emerge, but you got to play through and, and, and see in a game situation. So um, it was good to be able to do that. I think we're going to be, you know, a team that I can look down this stat sheet and have spread out numbers from scoring to assist to minutes. Um, but for sure, I get to experiment a little bit more in a game like this. Can uh, Coach talk about the difference in defensive um, effort or intensity? from the first half to the second half. Can you talk a little bit from the player's perspective, what changed? Yeah, I mean, and during halftime, um, we all talked about like our goals for the second half. And obviously, we gave up way too many three-point opportunities. And um, we knew that going into the second half. So it was just a matter of like different mentality and locking in. Um, and I feel like we, we did that. Yeah, two important kind of rotation players in the <coughs> I think overall they just bring a lot of energy and I think that last year we had a lot of energy but now we have experience and they bring a lot of experience for say and Kenzie has adapted to our team well so I feel like having those two just brings a lot of fun energy and just like as you can see transition um, assist everything yeah I feel like um, with say being a vet I trust her a lot um, I've learned from her just playing with her this this time and I feel like they bring um, a lot of other scoring options. So, honestly, I think it's good to have like five different people who can score on the court at all times. I actually think where we've really improved, not just from last year, but over the course of a couple of years, is I mean, I keep saying to them, let's just make the right basketball play. And I think that we have more pieces who can do a lot of different things score, yes, but also make the right pass dribble with both hands, use a ball screen. I, I, I know that sounds kind of simple, but it makes a big difference. And Kenzie and Sabe are both kind of epitomized that. Like Kenzie's sort of jack of all trades. You, I posted her up one time. She can make a pass. She can hit a shot. And, and Rase as well can lead the team like a point guard. But if we need a, a shot, I can run her off screens as well. So it just it helps the flow of the offense that we can kind of be more rhythmic with different people who can do different things. So um, I think uh, Kenzie is, um, she's just a basketball player. You know, she's sort of a jack of all trades, right? We can, we can put the ball in her hands and let her facilitate like a point guard, um, or she can, you know, play the four. She'll make the shot, or as you saw her, just kind of find some people and make a nice pass. So she's that, um, I, I think someone that we're going to be able to plug in, and, and basketball comes very naturally to her. You know, she's a freshman, so she's got to learn, like, you know, pace and some different things. But I, I think the game is where she feels very, at home and comfortable. Rase brings definitely a veteran you know, presence. She's been through a lot of battles, just not here. Um, so she can play the point. She really pushes the ball in, in transition. She can knock down shots. She can make the right pass. So I think we'll rely on her, and, and especially with Key and AT at times, to have almost three point guards on the floor to say, OK, pick your poison in terms of how you're going to play us.
Right. For sure. Um, you know, she's not the most explosive athlete that we've had here, but I still think her ability to get to her spots and be a perimeter player, kind of unlike anyone we've had, is going to be really important for us. And she didn't even shoot it as well tonight as what she's capable of. I mean, she's a kid who can, you know, make six threes in a game. Like, she didn't do that tonight, but her, her impact on the game, I think, is going to come in a lot of different ways. More of a factor in half court than transition, or? No. I mean, I, I think that she's arguably the quickest one at getting the ball yeah. up the floor. Mm -hmm. She is like. Yeah. Christine, can you talk a little bit about the seats like the expansion of the game includes you know, driving from the top of the key? And I saw actually um, West doing that as well. Is that part of the shift of uh, you know, like the you know, more movement and, and all of that for the post players? I think we're all just trying to make basketball reads, like good reads, and if like the drive is open, we're going to take the drive. If the shot is there, we're going to shoot. I think um, having really good guards, they tell us where to go, and we just go. Like if they want the screen, we set the screen, roll. Um, we're able just to play now more naturally. So if the drive is there, we're going <laughs> to we're going to dribble go because that's the that's the correct basketball play. Any more questions? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I think Michael's closer than Sara. Um, she's, you know, she's in practice in a limited sense, and we're hoping to have her back sooner than later. All right. Any last questions? Still not maybe doing tonight, but I heard that uh, you're letting Shane go on the video. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of opportunities did you see there? For, for um, you know, I mean, you guys know me pretty well, and what I I talk about and I try to stay true to is I really believe that um, my role here is to do as much as I can for for these young women and not just what they can do for us, you know, score another basket, make another play, get up me further. It's, it's about what we can do for them as well. And so those opportunities look different, right? It might be talking to WNBA GMs about, you know, how does Christine expand her game to make her have draft pick or what does Key need to do to be, you know, a top guard in the draft. And um, for other people, it might be how we get them the, the proper internship. And so for Chen, um, for what she gives to this program to be able to represent us as an ambassador in China and meet with the CEO of Alibaba and be on panels and do that kind of stuff is not only going to be good for her, but that's better for us because then she's, you know, um, I, I think happier and healthier and doing, you know, something that's good for her future and she's a really huge part of this team we'll miss her when she's gone but I think every single person is happy that she gets the opportunity to go to her home country as part of a Cal delegation so we're, I'm excited about it and as soon as I think people thought I was crazy for saying yes but I'm like why wouldn't I that's good for her and good for our team